An insurance fact find is opened and started in the same way as a standard mortgage fact find, initially by opening up a client record. Select client on the left hand side, the client, and click on the open client button. From the screen that opens, select the fact find option on the left hand menu to open the sales selection screen. Select the fact find concerned and click on open sale. In this case, you can see a fact find for a mortgage which has already been completed. In order to enable the insurance questions, place a tick next to the protection GI option at the top of the screen and this will ensure that the insurance tab is enabled as you can see. Selecting the insurance tab will take you to those screens and initially the only screen that will be visible is the cover required screen. The remaining tabs will only appear depending upon the answers given to the questions below. Those questions detail whether life cover is required, critical illness, income protection and so forth and they control the appearance of the tabs that you see at the top. You can add additional information for each answer if required. If I remove the buildings and contents answers you can see that the buildings and contents tab has disappeared. Clicking yes re-enables them. Within the life and critical illness tab we can use the needs to specify whether it is life only or life and critical illness or even indeed critical illness only and you can see I've almost completed this other than for a single mandatory field. Once I complete that the red exclamation mark goes and the tab is now complete. If I want to I can do a single type of product quote clicking on the life button and that will take the life and critical illness requirements to a supported integration. The income protection tab has been enabled as I needed to cover my income. This also enables the PPI ASU tab, so you can use that as an alternative. In this case, I've indicated that I am completing income protection and I have filled in the details on screen as you can see. I could tick ASU as required, either independently or as an additional product, but in this case, I'll leave that blank. The Buildings and Contents tab is divided into two tabs, one for Buildings and of course one for Contents, and is completed in the same way through drop-downs, radio buttons. And the Contents tab has an example where if a yes answer is given, the More button is enabled, allowing me to record details, in this case, of high-risk items for the Contents insurance. The Cover Required tab also contains the link to the multi-benefit integration through this button here at the bottom of the screen. That will launch into any multi-benefit service that you have set up and it will bring through all of the information from the life and critical illness tabs, income protection tabs, etc. as required. 